Renee. I'm super excited for YP Summit. It's coming up in Me February. Me too, just a couple months away. Are you staying for a utility management conference? Of course, I, I always do. Honestly, it's such a great opportunity to get to go to the sessions um, and actually see what's what's trending in the water sector, what the what the big utilities are concerned about and and really what the, the next few years are going to look like. I've seen some really amazing sessions there and to just get to talk to some of the, the leadership of some of the biggest, most forward thinking utilities in the country is is really amazing. So I love I love UMC. How many times have you been? This is my fourth one, I think. Yeah, because like we met at Orlando. Yeah. Um, which was my first one. Um, and so yeah, so we've we we've done Orlando and then um Sacramento, which was an amazing yeah. one as well. That's when I first started joining like the planning and and being on marketing committee. Um, and then last year was Portland, which was also just phenomenal. Um, and then yeah, this year in Dallas. Super excited. Awesome. Kind of have to get my cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, do I don't know. Going? When was your first one? Which one did you go to first? So I went to my first YP Summit in Nashville in 2019, but I didn't stay for Utility Management Conference. Um, but when I was there, a ton of people kept asking me if I was staying for Utility Management Conference, and I got a little bit of FOMO. So then when the conference started back up after COVID in 2021 in Orlando, I asked to stay. And similar to you, I've been going to UMC every year since. Um, you know, I'm not a utility member, uh, but I have always found that, you know, as a consultant, utility members are my clients. Mm -hmm. And so being able to hear all those presentations and hear, you know, what they're excited about, what, you know, they're stressed about, what's keeping up these utility leaders at night. I found that being able to come back from UMC, kind of bring that to my organization of observations and the connections, obviously, as we've said, um, just makes it so valuable. And especially if you're going for YP Summit already, you're already paying for a flight, which is usually probably the more expensive part of it. You're already there several nights. So it's basically like very nominal additional cost for registration fee and maybe two extra nights. So yeah, it seems like I mean, an obvious win-win. <laughs> The registration ends up being almost the same price. Like you're getting like a nine hundred dollar conference for three hundred bucks. Like you just you just have to. You have to, right? It's a no brainer. <laughs> even um, even for just like the first couple of days, it's uh, it's just such a great. I don't know. I really enjoy the experience and the the sessions and uh, and the it's definitely the decision makers and the movers and shakers in the industry. I mean, the job I have now. I got because of um, YP Summit and UMC in Sacramento. I was thinking about a change and I went to one of the hosted events at a bowling alley and I was chatting with two other women who were in the sector about around my age um, and they had just come over to start up some new business in North America from the Netherlands and fast forward a year later they both changed roles to a new company and I was like I, I don't know I'm thinking about a change um and they called me up and bam UMC uh the following year in Portland first day of my new job like it's it just full circle so I, I don't know I, this conference as is, is, is really is really something else for for those that type of, of really really Connection. core networking yeah yeah and I think the size of the conference is great that you know, I feel like sometimes at those huge conferences as maybe a young professional or someone for a first time attendee, you can kind of get a little intimidated with the size, you know, going to an ACE for the first time or a WEF tech. But um, I think the size of this conference is so nice that, you know, no one's going to let you sit on the sidelines. So they're going to pull you into a conversation. It's so easy to meet people. As you said, it really is those movers and shakers in the industries, the utility leaders, the leaders at a lot of the top firms. Um, and the conversations are great. Um, the networking opportunities are great. Um, it's honestly one of my favorite weeks of the year that I always look forward to. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the same. Yeah, and I mean, it it does have the technical sessions, but they're less sort of in the weeds, super technical. Um, so it's a lot more accessible. So if you're like interested in understanding other aspects of the of the business of water, of of utility management, of of, of like what's really going on in the sector, it is very accessible content because it's really designed for that that global vision and a little bit less on the you know very very minute details of the science but it is still very very relevant technical information i agree it's it's almost like the trends and being able to understand and kind of hear a lot of the trends going on from a way of you don't have to be an expert in that specific topic to be able to take something out of it um so if you were talking to someone and you needed to give them a couple reasons to go to umc in like a sentence what would you say <laughs> um so i would say definitely like the the yp summit experience it provides you a connection to the next generation of utility and consulting and manufacturing leadership uh, it's really the forward thinking very involved group so that that aspect is huge like the yp summit part of it um is a really fantastic experience. And then for the rest of the UMC conference, just really building a, a key, uh, an understanding of what's going on in the water sector, what are the trends, what's what are utilities trying around the country, how is it going, what's what's missing, what's what's needed uh, over the next few years, and and really what's What's the status? Where are we at with a lot of these big questions that we're asking that we're hearing all the time, um, like labor challenge, labor force challenges, like lead service lines and, and lead and copper rules, like um, asset management and aging infrastructure, like treatment and emissions and like all of these things, but at a very, very high level. So you get a very full picture of what's going on in the sector. Um, and and you get to access all of these sessions uh, with with really with leaders throughout the country. So yeah, so many reasons to go. <laughs> this can't this one's a can't miss. This one's a can't miss. I love this conference. So um, and then I guess bringing it back to the YP Summit. So one of the things that I really love about the YP Summit is that it allows us to be a bit selfish and focus on our careers, like really looking at what does our career path look like? What do we need as early career water professionals in a water setting, but not necessarily specific to water per se. Um, so it's very relevant without being, and, and it allows us to be very introspective and understand what, what's available in the water sector for us as we grow into our into our careers. So what drew you to the YP Summit initially? Yeah, so I originally went to YP Summit in Nashville in 2019 because I had a coworker who went. Um, he went as a representative of our AWWA section at the time. Um, and he just had a great time, a great experience. And he came back um, he was a couple of years older than me and was like, look, like you should ask to go like it was worth it. You know, we're trying to get a scholarship established for our section for people. But until then, you know, um, my company at the time was really supportive of his attendance. Um, he was like, you know, I'll help you with the pitch to um, our leadership on on attending. So I did that. I went because someone told me it was really worth going and, you know, especially meeting um, other people in the industry of the same age doing similar but different things across the country and especially getting those connections. Um, what I'll say is that some of the people I met at my first YP Summit um, are some of my best friends to this day. Um, and whether that's, you know, people doing similar things to me in the industry, people doing totally different things than me in the industry, um, you know, they're the people when you're thinking about a challenge, you pick up the phone and you're like, you know, I want your perspective on this. I know you're in a different geographic region, but like, how do you think about this? Or, you know, when you're thinking about whether it's a career change of, you know, getting that lessons learned from others who maybe made a change and, and getting some of that information, what they might have done differently or, or what they were excited that they did. Um, and it's really just, you know, 
the network you build early in your career only helps later. And, you know, you see some of the folks in the industry who also met, you know, early on, whether it was at a YP Summit equivalent or just as YPs in a section together. And you see when you're, you know, 30 years into your career, that relationship that you have, um, we're all in this industry because we want to make the world a better place. Um, I think the passion you get in the water industry from the people is just the best. And I think it's why most of us stay here. You know, we're working on very impactful work with people who really care. Um, so that's the reason I went and that's the reason I keep coming. Um, mm -hmm. The people is just great. Um, I can't imagine working with more inspirational and more motivating people in this industry um, and both YP Summit and staying for Utility Management Conference gets the opportunity to be able to connect with more and more and continue to grow that water network. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I mean, getting to see it from all perspectives, like you said, to have a, a little bit less of a focus on the, the hyper technical or the, the product sales with the trade show and things like that, which have a ton of value at other conferences. This is really where we take a step back and we look at the the whole industry and what's available to us as early career professionals and and what do we need to be cultivating as skills and knowledge and ability to be able to progress the industry in the direction that we want it to go because um, we're still going to be here at twenty in twenty fifty or or uh, <laughs> you know when when the future is here. Uh, and we we're gonna we're gonna want to be able to address the challenges that we see coming down the pipeline already. No pun intended. Actually, pun fully intended. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally agree. Yeah, so I'm I'm pretty excited for this year. Um, we're planning to do the water circuit challenge again. Um, that was a huge success last year to get sort of hands on some of the more. Uh, the more in the field aspects, the understanding the business of water and doing the meter challenge and some of the ops challenge things and learning about AI and, and how it can be applied, but in a really hands on way, uh, as well as some of the speakers. So we're going to have the op we're going to have that water circuit challenge again, get to get to do as well as listen and introspect, which I really like. Uh, and I'm super excited. We've already booked our first speaker for the YP Summit. And it's, this topic's going to be on emotional intelligence, which is a totally transferable skill. Um, and so that's really what I'm, I mean when we're we're talking about it is it's it's in the context of water, so it's very relevant to what we're doing. It's very adapted to this specific industry, but it's not really about water. It's really about how do we how do we run the business of utilities? How do we uh, help our clients if they're utilities, if we're looking at it from a consultant or a, a manufacturer perspective, you know, really how do we uh, build the industry and ourselves within it. So I'm very excited for that one. Um, and then we have a panel that we're putting together of young professionals who are already in positions of leadership. Uh, so looking down the line, we know that there's going to be this mass retirement, uh, the silver tsunami, as it's been called. And everyone is looking for how are we going to address it? And there are all of them are looking to us as as beginning our careers. And how are we going to address this this challenge in the future? So understanding what early career professionals are doing in positions of leadership already, how that experience has been, how did they get there? Um, what are the challenges that they face specifically? And how are they adapting and address, addressing this new role that they're finding themselves in um, so so early in their career. So I don't know, I'm, I'm very also very excited to just hear from that perspective. Yeah, and last year's summit in uh, Portland was sold out. So um, I know everything's bigger in Texas. So I think we're uh, capping registration at 350 people, but I'm really excited to make 349 new water friends this year, hopefully, um, mm -hmm. especially with it being in Dallas um, and easy to get to. I'm really hoping that we can get a really good group. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm registered. Are you registered? Almost. <laughs> Doing it today before it's all done. I definitely already have my hotel booked. <laughs> I missed that hotel deal the first year and like, oh, definitely not doing that one again. 